Do you think, uh, will, will, you, will we see a new Prime Minister uh, find a solution for the Northern Ireland Protocol, do you think? Well, there's only one solution to ending the stalemate in Northern Ireland. The Assembly uh, and the Executive up and running is to get rid of the protocol. I mean, the protocol has divided Northern Ireland, has gone against the Belfast Agreement, as said very clearly by one of the, the writers of the Belfast Agreement, the late Lord Trimble. It's clearly uh, causing instability in Northern Ireland. And I hope Rishi Sunak sticks to the promises he made when he was campaigning the last time for election, when he made it very clear that while obviously people would like negotiations with the EU to be satisfactory, uh, if they're not, then he will stick to making the protocol bill, which is now going through the House of Lords and being given uh, you know, a, a bit of a pasting by all the lawyers and the, uh, the diplomats in the Lords. Uh, he needs to, be, to show that he cares about the Union, that he cares about the fact that Northern Ireland is being split apart and that people are being treated differently. And I think the DUP has a, a mandate from the last election not to go back into government. I mean, after all, Sinn Féin took... Uh, to uh, put the Assembly down and the Executive down for three years. And I didn't hear all the kind of clamouring then, um, you know, for uh, Sinn Féin to go back in at the time or there wasn't a call for a, an election. So I think, um, you know, Rishi Sunak and the Secretary of State need to be very careful on this kind of badgering uh, and, and, and threatening people in Northern Ireland because it's, it's their government that's caused the problem in the first place. Finally... Liz Truss always said it was one of her biggest achievements as Foreign Secretary, getting the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill through the Commons. You've been following it through the Lords, where it's having a lot of a, a trickier time. Is it your view that this bill will actually make it through the Lords, or will it be completely stymied by the unelected chamber? Well, we're going into... We've had one committee day, um, and there were obviously... We don't vote in committee in the Lords, so we've got three more days scheduled. Um, it's going very slowly. There are lots and lots of amendments, some of them wrecking amendments. And I, I'm afraid to say that there are a lot of my fellow peers uh, who are so obsessed about supporting the European Union uh, that they are... You know, they, they want to attack everything that the, um, our own government's doing to end the, the stalemate. And the the protocol bill is the very basis of giving confidence that something is going to happen that if the negotiations fail. And remember, Sefcovic has not mandate, has not been changed. So really, I can't see much hope of that. But then it will go back to the Commons, and that's when crunch time will come for uh, Rishi Sunak and for the government. You know, are they prepared then to keep sending it back? and making the House of Lords, which is not an elected House of Lords and therefore has no right to hold up forever uh, some piece of legislation that the government really wants through.